The best way to fight the demons that chase you in the night is to stop and turn around. Turn around, face them. A hero dies once, a coward dies a thousand times. Unchosen suffering is going to happen in life. Mm -hmm. Your parents are going to pass away, loved ones are going to die, your relationships are going to break down, your body is going to fail you, you're going to become ill or sick or destitute. Things are going to happen mm -hmm. that you have no control over. And the only way that you can prepare yourself for unchosen suffering is with chosen suffering. You can elect to put yourself into a position to become a stronger alloy of whatever the metal is that you're mm -hmm. made of. And by purposefully choosing difficult things, you will arm yourself against that situation. You think you got so much time, man. Like you think you got so much time. Not that you need to rush your life, but you think you got time. Make that call, man. Like you think you got time. Write that letter. You think you got time. Go see that person. You think you got time. I said, man, when I say the most underrated blessing is leaving your house and making it back home every single day, people treat it like it's a cliche. Man, that's the most underrated blessing because every single day we wake up, we walk out of our front doors. We just treat life as if it's promised to us. It's not. Problem is, you think you have time, but in reality, you don't. So what are you waiting for? The story, the story they sell themselves on. Everyone's got a story and everyone wants to tell you their story of how bad they had it, how hard they had it. And the more times you tell yourself or others that story, the more you reinforce the fact that you're not meant to have happiness, success, abundance, great relationship, awesome health, whatever. The story, they don't realize that they still hold the pen. And there's thousands of empty pages still in that book that they could rewrite that story. But we have to let go of the pages that others have written in our book, and we can start writing how the story looks from this day forward. Whether you do, whether you don't, they're still gonna talk about you. At gatherings, they whisper about you if you're making moves or you're standing still. So honestly, I've come to realize in life just do you, just do what you want to do. Let them talk. And the only guarantee that you and I are going to have a better tomorrow is the fact that you and I are growing today. If you and I are not growing today, what would make us think that tomorrow has greater possibilities? You don't go into possibilities, you grow into possibilities. You don't go into opportunities, you grow into opportunities. It becomes the natural thing to a person that keeps learning and growing, expanding and stretching. There's a payoff for bad eventually. There's a payoff. It can't be bad, but for so long. If you got the strength and the understanding to realize that, shit will change. It will change. I was saying, I think to myself every day, is that I didn't come this far to only come this far. Creativity has no limits. We're not like a limited amount that we're gonna use up. When you do something, you check the box and move on. Do the next thing. We don't live in the past. Create a life resume. Do as many things that you can do, that you wanna do, and check the box and do the next thing. When you take the chance to go after your dreams, when you take the risk, sure you may fail. But what if you fly? What if you succeed? What if you do greater than you could have ever imagined? What if you impact and change millions of lives? What if the world is different in a better way because of you? Don't worry about making mistakes. Mistakes happen to everybody. Everybody makes a mistake. You're not special because you make a mistake. There's no big deal to making a mistake. It's all in the recovery. It's all in the recovery. Most people don't recover from a mistake. If you want to differentiate yourself, get the blessing of the lesson, get up and move on. If you are living a comfortable life, it only means you are continuously staying inside a field of what 
you know already. Every time you are crossing that line, every time you are expanding that border, you are bringing light into a space that before that time was a space of uncertainty. But there is only one way to find out and make uncertainty become knowledge. And that one is through experiencing it. And everybody's fundamental issue is that you either hate yourself or you do nothing but judge yourself. And this habit of relentless self-criticism and relentless self-rejection is the reason why you're unhappy. It's the reason why you're never satisfied. It's the reason why you can't take a compliment and why you're uncomfortable and it all comes down to the fact that when you stand in front of the mirror every single morning, you have this really subtle way that's not so subtle of starting your day by rejecting yourself. People change in four different seasons. People change when they hurt enough they have to, when they see enough they're inspired to, when they learn enough that they want to, and when they receive enough that they're able to. Those are the four times that people change. You can't be focused on the future. What you need to be focused is on the present moment. What you can control today, the habits that you input today, the amount of work ethic and good attitude that you've portrayed today. These are the things that matter. The Stoics used to speak about these things because it's so easy to either reminisce in the past or to be conjuring imaginary scenarios of the future, oftentimes negative, that lead a present moment of stress and a state of being miserable. So if you want to be in a life that is full of equanimity, equanimity means the calmness of the soul, and a life that is full of peace, you need to be here now focusing on what you can control. Fear never goes away. You just learn to live with it. Here's what I can tell you for free. It's gonna be much harder than you think. It's gonna take much longer than you think. And you're gonna suffer much more than you expect. But there will be nothing worth it more. What you've gotta decide for yourself, do you want to be the person you want to be? If I remove the suffering from success, you lose character. That's why you suffer, it's because the journey you have to go through is life that's going to teach you, but it's going to give you depth and character. The question you have to ask for yourself is, do you want to be who you are or do you want to be who you are becoming? You're only as good as your last shot. You're only as good as your last win. A lot of people that live in past victories or past failures end up losing in life because they're reminiscing on the past. The past will not determine the future. You need to understand that every single day when you wake up, you have the ability to reset the clock and you have the ability to reset the direction of your life. If you were doing something yesterday that wasn't pushing you towards success, that doesn't define you. You can change, you can adapt, you can re-engineer your future by changing your habits. True happiness is not contained in what you get. Happiness is contained in what you become. Some people will never like you because I believe your spirit irritates their demons. You wanna be strong? Learn how to be alone. Use this hurt as fuel, as energy. Falling down, failing is part of life, is life. Getting up every day, no matter what, is living. It's okay if your path is different than what you envisioned. Trust all the delays, the detours, and the roadblocks. Even if you can't see where you're headed, just trust that many roads can take you where you want to go. Maybe it's taking you longer because you aren't cutting corners or manipulating people to get there. Maybe it's taking you longer because you're doing it right. Whatever it is, just keep going. You don't have to know exactly what you want to be when you grow up. You just have to try different things, even if 99% of them fail. You only have to be right one time. You don't have to figure it all out in advance. You can be wrong, you can pick the wrong career, you can pick the wrong job, you can pick the wrong spouse, you can pick the wrong whatever. But you get it right one time, you're set. But if you don't try, and if you don't go out there and try all those different things, you'll never get that one time. What are you willing to do different? How willing are you? 
And a lot of people will put words to that, but only time will tell whether those words are followed up by the action that demonstrates the level of willingness that is required to actualize anything of meaning in this world. Understand that you are going to take blows. You're not going to walk through this thing seamlessly, never getting hit by a punch, never losing money. It's going to happen. And it doesn't make you less. It's just going to help you understand and get harder to the facts of things that you have to do in order to succeed. All I would urge you and tell you to do is understand that it does get darker before the dawn. And you must keep pushing through because you truly have no other choice. I will do good no matter what. No matter what happens to me, I will do good. No matter what happens to me. It's absolute rejection of the idea of being a victim. It's like, no matter how much suffering comes my way, no matter how much undeserved suffering comes my way, in spite of my innocence, I will not lose faith and I will do good. Fear of not achieving your goal, what we call self-limiting beliefs, hold you back more than anything else. And your self-limiting beliefs are not based on reality. That's why you have to constantly think, if I had no limitations, what goals would I set for myself? It's the ultimate passion, a passion for incredible success in every department of my life. That's the passion. But don't look down on some menial job you have to do to finally get you to where you want to go. No job is menial. Every job is noble. Training life for pay, making a contribution to society. Nobody changes until they change their energy. And when you change your energy, you change your life. Don't expect anything in your life to change if your environment is controlling your feelings and thoughts and if your environment is controlling how you feel and think what you're really saying is that person is controlling your feelings and your thoughts and that means you're a victim to your environment so turn that around and you start realizing your feelings and thoughts create your environment and you start seeing the effects of you at cause you're gonna believe more that you're the creator of your life and less the victim of your life. And I say, the more you practice it, the better you get at it. Everything you want will be found on your way to the top, not once you get there. The character, the discipline, the consistency, the self-respect, none of those things come with achieving the goal. They all come from the journey. Goals give you direction, but your commitment to the process will give you happiness and fulfillment. So commit to the vision, and wherever it takes you, just make sure you enjoy the ride. You can literally feel when it is time to move into the next chapter of your life. And the thing is, your new life is going to cost you your old life. And all you are going to lose is what you built for a person you no longer are. Let it go. It's supposed to be hard. Everything worth pursuing comes with a little pain. The trick is not minding that it hurts.